So my husband decided to buy me some makeup and he told me that I was not allowed to look at what he purchased until I sat down to record. So I just opened up the products and I was very, very, very excited. I'm very excited for today's video. I did have to start my makeup because we're not going to be doing a full face. So all the products that I used on this part will be listed down below in the description bar. The items that he purchased are this blush, which is in the color. He likes it cold. And this is the color. This is so, so beautiful. I cannot wait to use this. Oh my some lipsticks. Let's get some swatches of that as well. That is in the shade Wild Wheeler. This is the shade Excellent Erica. Oh, wow. Those are beautiful. I'm kind of drawn to this one. So I want to try and use that for my look. And then the last thing he purchased was the eyeshadow palette. This is so pretty. I know we're going to be using some greens. I'm thinking this gold, maybe this color right here. Oh gosh. I mean, these are some beautiful colors. This is definitely not my normal eye look, but that's kind of the point. I mean, look at these colors. We, we can't just do a neutral eye look. No, no, no. So I'm going to start off with this shade right here. It is called Benny's Burgers, and I'm going to pick that up and put that on my outer crease and just kind of blend that up. And I'm also going to blend it on the bottom waterline. So here on the outer third, actually more so the outer half. And we're going to kind of go up into the brow bone. I should have put my bangs back. All right, there we go. And I'm also going to put that on the bottom. These blend really, really well into each other. I'm quite impressed. The next shade we're going to go into is Star Court Mall, which is this pink. And we're going to do that on the inner half of the crease. I'm kind of playing around with as much color as I can. I really just want to see how well it blends and what they look like. Plus in the 80s, which is when this was, I think it's like, yeah, 1986 when this TV series is supposed to be. So back then we played with a lot of color. And by we, I don't mean me, because I was literally a year old. The next shade I'm gonna go into is called Hawkins High, which is this green, and like I said, I had to play with it. I'm actually going to use a, a flatter brush and we're gonna pack this green on to the outer third, because I really, really want that green to show. So I'm kind of closing my eyes to make sure that you can still see it and I'm going to use another brush to blend the green and I am going to put that on the bottom waterline as well like the bottom outer third once I have it blended to where I want it I'm just going to pick up some more green on my packing brush and just pack it on I'm going to go back in with the first brush which had Melvich General Store and just kind of blend this outer part out. The next shade I'm going to pick up is called Dingus and it's this beautiful gold right here. I'm going to put it on my brush first and then I'm going to spray it with a setting spray. I'm just going to use Ruby Kisses which is from Amazon and I'm going to put this on this middle part of my lid blending it into the green. Such a pretty gold. It definitely has more of a greenish gold, so it's gorgeous and it blends really well into the green. Then I'm going to pick up Surfer Boy Pizza. Again, I'm going to put this on a brush and then I'm going to spray it and I'm going to put that on the inner corner of the lid because I want that to kind of pop. I'm also going to put that in the inner corner. If you're a Stranger Things fan, please comment down below who your favorite character is and what season is your favorite so far. I'm going to pick up the brush that I used the pink with and I'm just going to, if I can find it, I'm going to pick up a little bit more of Star Court Mall, which is the pink, and just kind of blend that into this front part. 
There we go. For the bottom lash line, as you can see, we're almost done with it. I'm actually going to pick up some Palace Arcade, which is this purple, and we're going to put that on the inner part of our bottom lash line. I told you we were going to play with some color today. For eyeliner, I'm picking up Milani's Stay Put Eyeliner in Semi-Sweet, which is a chocolate brown, and I'm just going to line the top lash line. I'm not doing a wing, I'm not doing anything drastic, just a little line. For mascara, we're going to use L'Oreal Paradise, the waterproof black. I just find that this works best on my lashes. So we're going to do this on the bottom and the top. The last thing for the eyes is I'm going to do my inner corner and my brow bone highlight, and I'm going to use Surfer Boy Pizza as well for that. And I'm just going to pick that up on my brush and just put that in. I mean, we definitely went with color today, and it's quite bold. This is out of my comfort zone to the extreme, but it is, like I said, it's definitely fun and why would you do neutrals when you can just have so much fun with this? Let's go ahead and add blush. And again, this is in the shade, he likes it cold. This is definitely a, uh, a bold blush. So I'm just gonna lightly dip into it. Oh. That is bold. Let me get a different brush. I mean, that is a bold blush. Like that picked up and it doesn't really want to blend. So once it's down, it seems to be down. It almost looks like I got punched in the cheek or like it's bloody. I'm not a big fan of this shade or this formula. Like it does not want to blend at all. Like this is a clean brush and it's not helping. I literally look like I got punched in the cheek. So I'm gonna use my foundation blender and just kind of pat that down just so we can, you know, kind of make it chill a little bit. So I don't think I'm a fan of this blush, but that's just me. It's not the best formula and it's not the best color for me. Hear me out. We're gonna use this bright pink lip liner. It is called Hot Pink. It's by NYX. And we're gonna line our lips because the lips are more so a lip gloss versus a lipstick. And guys, we're going full like 80s look. We're using lots of color, we're having fun. Back then, it wasn't like, oh, does this match? It, it wasn't like that, it was like, oh, lots of color, I'm in your face, bam, this is awesome. So, we're gonna line with hot pink. Does this scream 80s yet? Because I think so. I think we're gonna stick with this shade right here, and this is, I wish they would have made them easier to read. I know it's not just me. I'm gonna use Excellent Erica. It's this gorgeous, gorgeous hot pink. And we're just gonna put this on top. I mean, I said I was doing 80s, and we were doing Stranger Things. I, I, I'm pretty sure I delivered. We've got the, the light denim jacket, and it's oversized. And then the super colorful look, like, come on. Now, I would not wear this out except for probably a Halloween costume, <laughs> to be completely honest. And that's only because I'm not into color. I prefer to be very neutral, but I mean, this is pretty fun in my opinion. So the lip products are a lip glass, and I would definitely say that that holds true. It's not a lipstick. It's not gonna be opaque. I did, like I, said I used a lip liner underneath to kind of give that more opacity so that you couldn't just see right through it and it worked out great. I am not a fan of the texture. It's very sticky and you would have to reapply it often, but it's still really nice. And I mean, it's doing exactly as I said, it's a lip glass. So it's got a nice shine to it. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. I mean, that's just gorgeous. I'm actually kind of digging the color. Like, I think I would wear this out, this lip gloss. But the eyeshadow blended like a dream. I had no issue with it. The colors are absolutely beautiful. And I love that you can do neutrals. You know, like here's right here, this quad right here is pretty neutral. I would even say that green is pretty neutral. You can have some pops of color. There's so much more you can do with this. Plus, it's just adorable. Like, 
Come on. As far as the blush goes, I would say that this is not my favorite formula. This did not blend very well. And quite honestly, my cheeks look like I got punched in the cheeks. It's a very, very dark reddish color. And I was looking forward to it. I thought it was going to be more of a burnt peachy red. And it's not. It's more of like a blackish brownish red. And like I said, it looks like I got punched in the cheeks. So not my favorite blush color. Along with the formula itself, it just didn't blend well. Once it was on the skin, it was on the skin and it was quite difficult to blend. So I'm not a fan of that at all. I'm really excited that my husband picked up these products because I wouldn't have purchased them myself. And I don't know, it's always fun to have a nice surprise. And I love that he's so supportive of this channel. And yeah, I just think it's really sweet and fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Have a lovely week wherever you are, and I will see you next time. Bye.